Hi everyone, I'm Alain Provo from Solid Experts, welcoming you to this tips and tricks. So this is part three of my SWOOD series. So let's uh, remember a little bit what we did uh, in the two uh, precedent uh, episodes. So first things, we uh, learned how to create and organize our folders for the cabinets. Afterwards, we did a really quick cabinets with the SWOOD um, cabinet uh, assistant, and we saw that was a real breeze to do. So today, I think that the next logical step is maybe having some materials to add to that model now and your future models. So without uh, waiting any longer, um, let's jump inside SOLIDWORKS and see how we do that. So we're inside SOLIDWORKS now and I'm going to open up my design, uh, SWOT design section. And so here are my uh, folders for my cabinet libraries. We remember this is the one I did in the last one and the model we're going to be uh, trying to create some materials for is going to be the nightstand. And to do that, well, I'll go into the material library. So once I'm there, as you can see, I have a folder that's named SOLIDWORKS and inside there, uh, solid expert, sorry. <laughs> as you can see in there, I have created some personal type of uh, materials that I want to use. So today, what about we um, improve our plywood library? So how am I going to do that? You see, I have a plain plywood uh, folder and in it, I have three types of thickness that I'm going to use on a regular basis. And I want to have a dark ukume style uh, material. So how can I do that? Well, simple. I just go and edit the library. This way, I'm going to be able to create any type of material I want inside there. So really, really easy. I can simply here make a right click and then new folder. I'll be able to create that folder now. So it's going to be plywood, okume, and I want the dark type. So I can say dark here, no problem. So as you can see now, I have the folder ready to, uh, to be uh, filled with my materials. I could do create a new material and put it in there, but then I have to go through um, reinserting all the parameters that I would need for the plywood or length um, and, and the width of my uh, panels. But I already did that work inside my regular plywood. So I'm going to simply do a copy of this one. And as you can see now, I have a copy. I drag it, drop it inside my dark Okume style. And, and this means that I copied the parameters of the other material inside this one. I'm simply going to rename it. I'm going to keep the thickness because I need that thickness. So I'm going to rename it Okume and I'm going to put another slash dark 16 millimeter. And let's say this one is a little bit more expensive because it's more exotic. So I'll keep it. Okay. And then I need to do the other thickness. So now that I've created this one, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure that the appearance now and texture is going to be the right one. So simply by clicking in it, it gives me the option to go look into the folder. And that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm in the folder texture for my SWOOD materials. And I can now find the Okume uh, type that I need, this one. And as you can see in the little preview, it's going to be a dark one. So I say, okay. And now that appearance is going to be on the right material. 
So all I need to do is go quickly like that and create copies and simply now correct the right dimensions of this one because it's going to be 19. I'm going to modify it here. I can go uh, on my supplier, see what's the costing of that uh, material and simply adjust it. So let's say it's going to be 65 for now. And I'm going to go and correct this one. That's going to be my 25 millimeter. So let's go in there, correct this one too. And it's going to be 25 millimeter. There we go. And it's going to be $72, let's say. And that's it. I quickly created a brand new type of material. Of course, I did go get the texture. Uh, it's a, only a JPEG. I saved it in the texture library and I can use it, no problem. So we see now that I have two folder, two types of plywood now that I'll be able to reuse on my models later on. So stay tuned for the next chapter of this little series to see how I'm going to use them. Thank you for uh, having me and listening to my little uh, tips and tricks. See you later. Bye-bye.